A computer program guides a plasma torch to cut out precisely sized slots in a sheet of high-grade steel. The slots will house the illuminated numerals and indicators like arrows. A worker then feeds narrower strips of steel to a press that bends back the edges to create tabs. These strips will serve as the sides of the scoreboard and the tabs will be used to install them. He fastens four strips to the back panel. He then attaches the plasma cut front panel to complete the basic structure of the scoreboard. The next worker sprays a powder paint coating onto the entire scoreboard. Then it's into a giant convection oven for about 14 minutes to cure the powder paint. The result is a tough powder paint skin that will make it possible for the scoreboard metal to weather the elements. They're now ready for working parts like LED light-studded digit boards, a data transmitter, and receiver. He connects the receiver to the power source and installs it inside the cabinet. There are several light-studded digit plates on a scoreboard. Each can flash any number. He wires them in a loop, interconnecting them in what's known as a daisy chain configuration. He also plugs in a ribbon-style cable to link the digits to the scoreboard's processing module. He inserts the digits in the slots on the front and shields them with a sheet of transparent polycarbonate. He confirms that the wiring is good and that all the numbers light up. He connects the wireless computer processing module to the numbers and also wires it to a power source. He mounts the module to a panel that will then be installed through the back of the scoreboard cabinet. With all the lettering now in place, the numbers on the board will mean something to the crowds in the stands.